Welcome back to the nostalgic future. The Z Flip 3 is amazing at emulating PSP, and PPSSPP is a wildly good emulator. And if you have one of these little Bluetooth controllers that holds your phone up like this, I think it's an even better experience than a real PSP. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd rather play on an original PSP, but is it better to play it on this phone with a Bluetooth controller? I think yes! Especially if you have some Bluetooth headphones and you use an upscaler? I mean, this is a great experience. Just take a look at Castlevania The Dracula X Chronicles. It looks fantastic. It looks and sounds fantastic. And these are just the default settings for this emulator. I haven't even messed around with anything or upscaled anything. This is just it running in default and it's buttery smooth and looks fantastic and really that's what I love so much about this emulator you don't really need to configure anything not even a BIOS and it will even download the thumbnails for the images and background wallpapers for you also it's perfect so I'm just gonna show off two more games oh man yeah the backgrounds are amazing. Let's try God of War next. It's just such an epic adventure to be able to have in a pocket. And it's one of those games that really shows off how amazing the sound was on the PSP. It was something we even took for granted, I think, at the time. But when you hear it over even just these cell phone speakers and with Bluetooth headphones, oh man, it's, it's amazing. It makes it so much bigger and more immersive than I ever remembered it being. And God of War Ghost of Sparta is another title that just is buttery smooth. Just perfect. No real hiccups or anything like that. And again, it's no tinkering either. I didn't have to change any settings or anything. Changing the settings in this app on this phone just seems like something you would do just to make it look better. It doesn't ever seem to be something you need to do, which is kind of wild. I didn't even set up the input map for this Bluetooth controller the first time I paired it to this phone. I just paired it to the phone, opened the app, ran the game, and the only thing I think I had to do was disable the on-screen touch controls overlay that was it it didn't need a BIOS or anything tweaked and PSP ISOs are just so easy to come across now and you know it does sound kind of like a hard thing to do to emulate PSP on a phone but honestly this is the simplest emulation experience I've had in a long time on the side of sourcing the ROM and the side of running the emulator. And as you can see here, I've only had the time to go through three titles, so I can't sit here and say that it's going to be buttery smooth on every game, but I did try three completely random titles and all of them performed perfectly. So I'd bet you're going to run into minimal issues with this emulator. So if you were ever into PSP, you have got to give this a try. Even if you're watching this and you don't have a Z Flip 3, and you just have a regular Android phone, try it on that. And I'll probably save a full setup video for another day. Comment below if you'd actually like to see that. You know, an episode that covers the process of getting the PSP ISO from the computer to the Z Flip 3 in the app, just in case anybody needs it. 
But I've got to be honest, it's been a long time since I've played PSP. I mean, several years since I last actually had one physically. And when I got ready for this video, and I spent some time in these games, it just surprised me so much. Not only just the phone's ability and how good that app is, but how well these titles aged on their own. It really was ahead of its time in comparison to the DS. And it has just such a robust library of diverse games. It's so similar to the PS2 in that, in, in that way. Except if you ask me, I think the PSP held up a little bit better visually. So if you have a Z Flip 3, give this a try. You won't regret it. And like always, I appreciate all of you. Especially the ones that stuck around this long. And I'll see you next time on... The Nostalgic Future.